So regardless of whether you are using a paid or free Instagram business, the four components still hold true. The business operations, the ordering process, how you collect payment and fulfillment of orders. Once again, regardless of what, whether you want to have a free Instagram food business account or a paid one, you still need these items. So ordering process, this is what it looks like. Now let's dive right in. As you can see right here, lesson 2.1, we focus on the free way of running your Instagram food business. And lesson 2.2, we focus on the paid way, as you can see right here, the shop feature, and that's the difference. In this lesson specifically, we are focusing on the free way of doing it through Google Forms. Now, you might be asking, why do I need Google Forms? Why can't I just take orders through DMs? We focus on making it super easy and straightforward for your customers to place an order, so then that way they're not confused. Rather than having them direct message you, asking you different items. Hey, you know what? How much is your cookies? What flavors do you have? When is delivery? Asking all these kind of information and you just get completely lost when you're communicating with dozens of customers. We also allow you to actually able to streamline the ordering process to ensure that there's gonna be less back and forth. You don't want to keep asking your customers, hey, you know what, where do you live? What's your number? Uh, what flavor are you ordering? What is the quantity? When is delivery date? You want to have it all in Google Forms so then it becomes super streamlined and easy for all the information for them to fill in all at once. Because if you just go back and forth five different times and accounting for the times of, of people being on their phones, then that process can easily take hours just for them to place an order with you, and that is not a good customer experience. Next up, this process also allows you to manage and organize multiple orders of yours. Just imagine for a second that you have dozens of orders lined up, and you're gonna be easily mistaken if you're not organized by you know, sending the wrong order to the wrong customer. So you can easily just print out your Google form, make sure it's aligned with the product that you're, you're sending and actually plan out your whole route that way and deliver them accordingly to prevent any uh, mishaps for your customers. Now, the six must have fields in your Google Forms. Now that we understand why we're using the Google Forms, these are the fixed six must have items for your own Google Form. First up, your customer information, their name, contact detail, their number, and their address. Next up, it is your images of your product. Make sure you upload images of your product so people are not gonna be mistaken on what they're ordering. And then lastly, not lastly, next up is the menu offering. What is it that you're selling? Be very, very clear in terms of all your different uh, flavors that you're selling and indicate it into your Google Forms. Next up, the pricing. As you can see here, the prices that are associated with each of the menu item. The fulfillment option, Do they are they gonna be doing pickup or delivery? And if they're doing uh, delivery, where are they located? Because at different location, there is um, deliver different delivery fees as well. And lastly, the date of delivery and the date of the pickup, depending on when they are available and when do they want their items. So these are the six must have items for the Google form and the pros and cons of free versus paid. So then that way you can make a, 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 a informed decision. First up, if you are using the free way, the pro of that is it, that it is completely free. You can modify the form anytime it is easy to do so, and it is simple for your customers to use. It is also quite easy to create, it takes you minutes to create it. However, the cons of doing the Google form, okay, versus a paid way of doing it is that there would be possible mistakes when your customers are filling in through the information. There are no notification when your orders are placed, so that means you need to keep checking whenever you have orders placed through Google Forms. There's no inventory management. Basically, you don't know how you're managing your orders. You don't know what ingredients you have left because you just don't have that system in place. And on top of that, there's no payment processing. You cannot collect payment through Google Forms. And this doesn't seem too professional. Basically, you're sending a Google form for people to fill in. Your customers don't feel like, wow, this is a legitimate company. And that's the reason, difference between a free and a paid account for your Instagram food business. Some of the pro tip for you guys, when you're posting the link, make sure you select shorten URL because this avoids clutter. It just becomes much easier for the eyes. Next up, shorten the link if you don't have that feature using bit.ly.com. Go on bit.ly.com, 
copy and paste your Google form link in here and click shorten. And you're going to be able to have a very short link, which you can put onto your Instagram profile. Now it is your turn. We already have created the Google form template for you in the resource link below. So all you have to do is just download it and just copy and paste at that Google form, change it up to your menu and put that into your Instagram bio. If you choose the free option, you now can skip lesson 2.2, but if you are opting into the paid version, then go on to lesson 2.2 to understand how you can set up a paid Instagram shop.